Hello everyone. So it's also possible to create a backup of the PLC now. So you maybe know it from the web page that you can set the PLC to stop and then create an online backup. And that is also now possible using the web API. So um, if you want to create a project backup, let's say every day at six, then you can automate that now. Um, and for that, we're gonna just take a little look on how we can use it. So uh, we're gonna store the backup. We're, we're gonna have it stored just the default. Then we're gonna say to this directory, then we're gonna say the backup name as well, and maybe also the file extension for it. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, the, for the backup, as you know, it needs to be in stop. So if you set it to run, uh, you will get an exception. And also here we will get one exception since the PLC will be in run. So to restore and backup, you will also need to set the PLC to stop. So we are doing that now. And we will start again with an empty folder, one that has been created and filled. And then we're gonna set it to run. And for the restore backup, you also have to know that you will have to provide a username and the, the password for the login, uh, for the authentication, um, for the time the PC has rebooted and it wants the new backup. And um, then we're going to set it to run again. And then we're going to check that the permissions are still there after restoring a backup. So what the library will do, it'll re-authenticate. So it'll re-log in um, on the, the web API. And as you can see, there still are the permissions and those files are created as expected. And you can see here also that uh, this web API demo, it's per default going to the download directory and uh, yeah, gets, gets you the file. So that's what I wanted to show. Uh, you can see here that the files are there and by default it takes the S7 PBKP uh, file extension, which is the one for um, yeah, backups. So thanks and have a good time. Goodbye.